in earlier lecture we understood about uh, control plane and also runtime plane and we discussed about cloud hub as a runtime plane and how we can manage cloud hub using runtime manager etc from control plane but now let us discuss about any point runtime fabric when we need it and what all features we will get with it right so suppose if you are working with cloud hub your applications will be running on cloud hub managed by mulesoft of course in your own vpc this is a private vpc anyway that is secure actually so if your application running in cloud hub vpc wants to connect to your own data center where you have you are having your own databases or message brokers or some other services is it possible for the applications running in cloud hub vpc to connect to your data center yes what you can do is you can configure a vpn right vpn and you can use some protocols like ipsec etc to securely data do secure data transfer right so that is okay most of the companies are okay with it but if your company is having some policies like your applications should be running only on your own premise not on some other uh, some other uh, infrastructures or platforms managed by some other companies like mulesoft right in such cases you feel like it will be comfortable if the applications will run on premise is it so for you there is runtime fabric actually what you can do is on your own data center you can install runtime fabric runtime fabric is internally using kubernetes and docker so using kubernetes and docker the runtimes will be installed but when you are using runtime fabrics only runtimes are managed using kubernetes but the management the control plane is still by mulesoft mulesoft managed control plane so the same runtime manager what we used for cloud hub same runtime manager same any point exchange <coughs> right all are same the control plane is same only runtime plane is managed by runtime fabric and it is internally using kubernetes so actually whenever you deploy your application let's say you are deploying your application and you configured that you want three instances so what will happen the runtime manager will talk to a component running in kubernetes called as run uh, runtime manager agent runtime manager agent which is inside the runtime fabric and it will ask to start three instances of this application what this agent will do is it will create docker containers three docker containers and these docker containers will be having separate mule runtime so three mule runtimes inside three docker containers will be started right so these application instances are running within your premise and it is managed using kubernetes that is what is runtime fabric so now let me run through this presentation so any point runtime fabric is a container service that automates deployment and orchestration of mule applications and api gateways so runtime fabric provides a container service it deploys your applications inside containers and what all it can deploy it can deploy your applications as well as applications which are running inside mule runtimes as well as proxies which run inside gateways right 
So, runtime fabric runs within a customer managed infrastructure. And again, customer managed infrastructure can be your own data center or you can have your own AWS cloud or Azure cloud or any bare metal servers also. So, you can install runtime fabric on Amazon AWS or Azure or in your own data centers. Okay. So, any point runtime fabric supports deploying applications using same any point runtime manager and deploying policies and updates using API manager and also it internally uses any point exchange. That means the total control plane is managed by MuleSoft only, right? So let us see what is the runtime fabric architecture. So as I told, runtime fabric will be internally using Kubernetes. Kubernetes internally will be, whenever we are using Kubernetes, there will be internal Kubernetes cluster where there will be some master nodes and worker nodes, right? So here, these master nodes, we call, we can call them as control nodes control nodes and these are worker nodes there can be n number of workers and control nodes okay so of uh, what is the controller 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 is a vm dedicated for running for operating runtime fabric this controller has some services and also a distributed database a load balancer and other services right and worker is a VM dedicated for running your mule applications and API gateways. So you can see this is how uh, development configuration can look like. So the control plane is managed by MuleSoft. So whenever you uh, deploy any applications through runtime manager through internet, the runtime manager will talk to the runtime manager agent running inside the controller. And this agent knows how to deploy your mule applications inside worker nodes, right? And of in every controller, there will be a internal load balancer. Okay. Then in production environment, if you say the actual in development environment, only one controller machine is sufficient. But in production environment, we need to handle failovers and we need high availability. So it is recommended to have at least three controller VMs. So if there are three controller VMs, each VM will be having the services, as I told you, provided by runtime fabric. So basically every controller will have a load balancer and every controller will have a agent. And on top of it in production, we'll be having another TCP load balancer. Okay. So any request will first come to TCP load balancer that will delegate to one of the internal load balancer. And this load balancer will delegate to our applications. So if you're still, uh, if you want to still understand what all are the services that can run in controller, let us see this next one. Yes. Here you can see, these are all the controller machines on the top. As I told you, these are nothing but Kubernetes master nodes. And these are the nodes in which the runtime fabric services run. What all are the various runtime fabric services? Runtime fabric agent. One agent which is responsible for deployment and another agent which is responsible for monitoring these applications. And there is something called as log forwarder, uh, which can forward the logs to third party log managers, etc. And on all these workers, these are all nothing but Kubernetes workers, right? So your applications will be deployed on Kubernetes workers. And you can see log forwarder agents will be present in every node right okay so one more thing is 
if you want to do logs if you want to view logs can you view the logs of applications in runtime manager the answer is no so once you deploy your application through runtime manager the applications gets deployed in runtime fabric like this but logs of the applications cannot be viewed on runtime manager right so you know already how uh, we used to see logs in runtime manager that will not be available how can we see the logs so in runtime fabric there is one application called as ops center which will be running on this control nodes so we will be provided with the url of the ops center and using the top center you can view the logs and also various monitoring also can be done various ways of monitoring also can be done using ops center and remember if you want the logs of your applications deployed here to be seen in runtime manager can you guess what you can do if you remember i told you that in control plane in control plane there is a service called as cloud hub logging service right so actually whenever you deploy your application to cloud hub your application has log for j2.xml right whenever you deploy your applications to cloud hub this log for j2.xml configuration is overridden and there will be a appender configured which will send the logs to cloud hub logging service right so if you want same thing what you can do whenever you are writing your application itself in your log for j what you can do is you can configure an appender which will write your logs to cloud hub logging service so then you will be able to see the logs on runtime manager okay if you want to see how to configure a uh, logging service uh, here i googled and here is a documentation pointing to custom logging service how to configure custom log appender using log4j so here if i go down here is a configuration it is showing here in log4j2.xml this is configuring a rolling file appender which is telling how to write logs to files and this is the one log for j2 cloud hub log appender this is the one which you need to configure if you want to send logs to cloud hub logging service okay so when you are using runtime fabric if you want to send the logs to runtime manager you can configure log for j2.xml like this okay and one more thing i want to tell you is if you are using runtime fabric by default you can see the logs using ops center and optionally what you can do you can configure your log for j 2.xml to send the logs to cloud hub service or what you can do is you can forward logs to external services any point runtime fabric enables you to forward application and cluster logs to external logging services so this is a url in which it is showing the procedure what you need to do to forward your logs to external services you don't need to understand all this but just understand that it is possible to forward logs to external logging services whenever you are you want to actually configure you can do it right as a, as an uh, as an architect you should be able to understand that this is a possibility of course whenever your team wants to implement of course you can say this documentation on exactly how to configure it so that's about uh, any point runtime fabric so till now we understood about cloud hub runtime runtime plane and runtime fabric runtime plane so in next lecture we are going to discuss about a uh, private cloud edition of any point platform